Well, welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome to another episode of Jim and Java. I'm always so excited to have you join us every week as we address the important fundraising and development issues that you have that you're either struggling with or questions that you're dealing with. And it's always an exciting time when we can together as a community, a community of life changers that are working together to answer these questions. No one's perfect. No one has all the answers to everyone, let alone me. But uh, I am here for you to help to work out some of these issues, to talk through these, and as a community, we can work together. We're putting a lot of time and effort into our Facebook group, trying to grow that, the Life Changers Facebook group, so that all of us together can interact. So if you aren't already a part of the Life Changers Facebook group, down in the description, we've got a link to be part of that group. We would love to have you. And of course, if you aren't already a subscriber, we would love to have you as a subscriber to this channel because the more subscribers means that we're getting this message out to more people. And I would love to have more people involved in this community. Well, let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question of the week is from Jeff in Providence, Rhode Island. And Jeff asks, as we approach year end, are there things that we can do to prepare our donors for the year-end proposals or letters that will be coming their way. Well, Jeff, absolutely there are ways that we can begin preparing our partners. If you are meeting or talking with people uh, on a fairly regular basis, either you've got a caseload of individuals who you are working constantly, or you're an executive director or development director who is working with individuals. As you begin to move towards October, and as we look for these last three months of the year, and remember, uh, we see in some organizations as much as 50% of the money of your total revenue comes in those last three months of the year, 31% just in the month of December alone. It's important that you prepare your partners for that time. You are probably trying to find a good balance between communication and solicitation. So what that means is that you don't want to ask people too many times. If you, ask, if you talk to people two times a year and one of those are that you're asking, well, then 50% of the time you're asking. But if you're talking to people four and five times a year and you're asking one or two times, that isn't perceived as too much or too many. So as we move towards year end, I would really encourage you in just a feedback position as you are reporting back to your partners on things that have either happened in the past or you hope will happen in the future, prepare them for Joe, Mary, you're going to be getting from our executive director or you'll be getting from me in the next couple weeks a letter that's going to address some of the really critical priority projects that we've got at year end. I'd love for you to make sure that you give it special attention. If you don't get it, please let me know and I'll make sure that you get another copy, a special copy, or I'll hand uh, drop a copy off to your office. Now also, if you're planning on presenting a proposal to them face-to-face, -face, it's going to be really important that you prepare them for that too. John, Mary, I know that you usually make a gift in the last couple of weeks of the year. I'm going to be bringing to you somewhere around the 1st of November, I'm going to be bringing to you our year-end proposal. So I want to prepare you for that because I've got a few things that are probably a little bit more 
than you've given in the past. And so I would love for you to consider and plan ahead for maybe giving a little bit more at your end. That way you're preparing the individuals so that when they get it, they there isn't sticker shock and they're not really put off by a proposal that's much larger. If you've got a good relationship with the people, you can bring up these kinds of things early on and it won't offend people or upset upset or frustrate people. So I hope, Jeff, that that helps and that answers your question. Thanks so much for putting that out. And those of you who are have questions to submit, please do so at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. We would love to have you as a subscriber and part of this life changer community. We are really attempting to make a difference and getting more subscribers. Share these videos. Share the uh, the link to our Facebook group with your colleagues and friends so that everyone together collectively we can make a difference in our world. If you want to raise more money than ever before, watch this video and I am so glad and so helpful that you're here because we want to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.